Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. He is washing a cow. B. He is petting the animal. C. He is running around the barn. D. He is going over the fence. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. They are working in an art studio. B. They're listening to a lecture. C. They're drawing pictures outdoors. D. They're looking at paintings in a museum. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. They're taking a walk together. B. One man is looking at the monitor. C. Two men are facing away from each other. D. They are sitting across from each other. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. The shelves are being stocked. B. There are books on the floor. C. Some reading materials are on the shelves. D. A man is booking tickets to a play. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A man is about to sit on the bench. B. A man is buying a newspaper. C. A man is reading while sitting. D. A man is entering the building. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. They're lined up to enter the restaurant. B. They're helping themselves to some food. C. They're preparing a dish in the kitchen. D. They're standing in the front lobby. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. The men are working outdoors. B. The men are cutting down trees. C. The men are replacing the windows. D. The men are painting the building. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. He's painting the side of a fence. B. He's walking through the room. C. He's using a long pole. D. He's leaning on a walking stick. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. A lab technician is putting away the equipment. B. The shelves are being filled at the moment. C. The room is equipped with laboratory equipment. D. The lids of the bottles are being removed. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The boxes are ready for delivery. B. There are products for sale on the stand. C. The items are being priced by the clerk. D. The goods have been put into the boxes. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed on your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, What are you doing? You will also hear, A. 
I am doing fine. B. I am looking for something. C. I can't do it. The best response to the question, What are you doing? is choice B. I am looking for something. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. To whom should I forward this package? A. I look forward to it. B. Professor Jensen. C. At the post office. Number 12. When is the proposal due? A. Next week. B. To ask for a raise. C. Due to the rain. Number 13. How long is the wait at the ticket booth? A. For the play. B. About 15 minutes. C. To boost up the sales. Number 14. Should I book the largest hall or will a medium-sized one be okay? A. In the lobby. B. I think he's okay. C. Check with Mr. Lee. Number 15. Would you like to get some coffee? A. Sure, I could use the break. B. Fifteen copies, please. C. No, I don't like it much. Number 16. Where can I find John Smith? A. He's on the next floor up. B. I found it in the meeting room. C. He was looking for you. Number 17. Why don't we take Robin along with us? A. I'll ask him to bring it with him. B. Because he is very busy now. C. He's gone to see a client today. Number 18. When's your day off? A. I am very tired. B. Next Tuesday. C. He's not here. Number 19. Did you withdraw money from the bank? A. I'll do it on my way back from lunch. B. I have a bank account there too. C. It's located on Maple Street. Number 20. Have you taken care of the work or should I ask Jill to do it? A. Get Jill to do it. B. Lots of housework. C. I'm going to work soon. Number 21. He's the new sales manager, isn't he? A. I made a sale today. B. He likes to manage people. C. Yes, it's his first day here. Number 22. That was the best dish I have ever tasted. A. Yes, it was delicious, wasn't it? B. I'm going to the restaurant later. C. There should be another dish there. Number 23. Where did Miss Curtis leave the weekly report? A. She left five minutes ago. B. On top of your desk. C. No, it's a daily report. Number 24. Did you see a red folder in the room? 
A. I saw Mike taking it earlier. B. No, I don't like the color. C. The sales report is in it. Number 25. Who do I need to speak to about getting a parking spot? A. I park my car in the underground garage. B. Go to the maintenance department. C. I believe there is a charge to park there. Number 26. Why don't we use the catering service we used at our last party? A. The party is this Friday. B. At the Crown Hotel. C. Yes, they did a great job. Number 27. How do you get along with your new assistant? A. To help me with the project. B. I want to come along as well. C. I really like her a lot. Number 28. Would you prefer taking a day off this week or next week? A. Next week would be nice. B. I need to go to my dentist. C. Let's take it with us. Number 29. I need to pick up my car from the garage. A. Yes, John is arriving. B. I'll give you a lift. C. I have a compact car. Number 30. Isn't there another bus in 10 minutes? A. Yes, at 3 o'clock. B. No, it's in the next room. C. The boss will be here. Number 31. Could we get together to discuss the presentation today? A. John is making the presentation. B. How about over lunch? C. No, that will be held tomorrow. Number 32. Why did Carl rush out of the office like that? A. He was late for a meeting. B. Maybe he is not like that. C. To the office upstairs. Number 33. What's the weather forecast for this weekend? A. Probably this Saturday. B. It's supposed to get really cold. C. Well, let's forget about it. Number 34. There isn't a subway station near here, is there? A. It would be better to take my car. B. The place is very close to here. C. No, but there is a bus stop on the corner. Number 35. Do you know why this box was not mailed out yet? A. She's at the post office now. B. I have not checked my mail yet. C. Sorry, I really don't know. Number 36. Mr. Wan will make the presentation at today's meeting, won't he? A. Yes, I'm going to be there. B. It will be held in room 12. C. No, I think John is doing it. Number 37. Could you take this file to Mr. Harris? A. Where is he? B. In the cabinet. C. He is due to arrive soon.
Number 38. There are not enough chairs for all the guests. A. There is plenty of food for everyone. B. How many people are we expecting? C. I guess he will be coming later. Number 39. When's the best time to contact you? A. Try me this afternoon. B. Let's sign the contract. C. The best is yet to come. Number 40. Didn't Ms. Rodriguez come by to deliver the documents herself today? A. Let's send it to her now. B. Yes, we got the papers. C. No, she will do it by herself. Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Jim, how is your new apartment? I really like it. It's really spacious and the rent is very reasonable. That's great. When are you going to invite me to see your new place? Well, I was thinking of asking some people over this Friday, but my brother got these free tickets to the basketball game. Number 41. What are the speakers talking about? Number 42. What did Jim recently do? Number 43. What will the man probably do this Friday? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. I see that you are done with your meal. Could I take these dishes away? Yes, thank you. And could I take a look at your menu again? I'd like something for takeout. Of course. I'll be right back with the menu. Oh, never mind. I'll just get the cheeseburger with fries to go, please. Number 44. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 45. What does the man ask for? Number 46. What will the woman do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. I'm taking the 8 o'clock flight to Los Angeles to attend the conference. Could you give me a lift to the airport after work? Sure, but let's take off a bit early. I don't want to get stuck in traffic during rush hour. No problem. We can get there a bit early and have dinner together. Is 4 o'clock okay? Well, let me see. I do have a meeting with a client at 2 o'clock, but I think that will be all right. Number 47. What time is the woman's flight? Number 48. Why does the man want to leave early? Number 49. What will they do when they get to the airport? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. The train station is downtown, isn't it? Yes, it's on College Street between University Road and Elm Street. Are you going somewhere? No, a friend of mine from New York is coming to see me tonight. 
and I have to greet him at the train station after I finish work here. Really? I live a block away from the train station on King Street. Would you like a ride there? Number 50. Where is the train station located? Number 51. Why is the woman going to the train station? Number 52. How will the woman most likely get to the train station? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Our sales have been increasing steadily since last year, and we are going to have to hire more staff around here. That is great news, but where are we going to find the qualified people we need? We're not going to put out an ad in the paper, are we? No, we need people with experience in this field. We're thinking of using a job agency. It costs a bit more, but they specialize in finding the right people. Yes, I agree with you. It's a lot better than recruiting people right out of college, like the way we did the last time. Number 53. What does the man want to know? Number 54. How will the speakers find the new workers? Number 55. What does the woman mention about the job agencies? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. We'll be discussing the portfolio of our new client in this morning's meeting, and I need to look over the file folder he is going to send. Has it arrived yet? Well, I went down to the mailroom earlier, but there wasn't anything there for you. Do you want me to call the client and see if he sent it? I just got off the phone with him, and he said that he sent it by Corian an hour ago. It should have arrived by now. Well, the roads are very slippery outside because of the snow. I'm sure that it will arrive before your meeting starts at 11, Mr. Johnson. Number 56. Why is the man in a hurry to receive the file folders? Number 57. How will they receive the file folder? Number 58. Why is the delivery late? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Susan, have you put much thought into what kind of food we should serve at the company party this year? Well, the catering company we used at our last party did a wonderful job with the selection of food they served. Why don't we use them again and let them handle the entire thing? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Can you call them and make the necessary arrangements then? Sure, I will take care of it right away. Number 59. What are the speakers discussing? Number 60. How do the speakers feel about the catering company they used before? Number 61. What will Susan do next? Question 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Sarah, I need to look over the seminar schedule to see if we can fit Dr. Kwan into the program. Would it be possible to take a look at the latest schedule you have? I'm not quite finished putting it together yet, Mr. Perez. Would it be all right if I email it to you after I am done? 
Actually, could you bring it up to my office? There is a problem with my computer and the internet is not working right now. John is there looking at it, but I don't think he will be done fixing it any time soon. All right, I will drop by your office within the next half hour. Number 62. Why does the man want a copy of the schedule? Number 63. How will the woman deliver the schedule? Number 64. When will the man receive the copy? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. I need to staple these reports together and send them to the manager. Could you pass me the stapler? Sure. Here you go. How long did it take you to get the reports together anyway? Oh, it took me a long while. I've been working on this for six months. I thought I would never be finished with it. Well, you must be very happy with yourself. I worked on a project like that last year, and I know how hard and time consuming the work can be. I don't think I ever want to take on a project like that again. I'm glad you did it this time. Number 65. What does the man say he has to do? Number 66. How long did the man work on the project? Number 67. What does the woman mention about the type of work the man had just finished doing? Question 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. I can't believe we got the wrong order. We are going to have to send these boxes back. It's too late now. All the delivery people have gone home for the day. Why don't we just send them back first thing in the morning? Well, I guess we have no choice but to do that. I just hope we will receive the right order soon enough to repackage everything and have them delivered to our stores by next Monday. Don't worry, Sean. We have plenty of time. Plus, we always have the weekend if we run out of time. Number 68. What is the problem? Number 69. When will they send back the items? Number 70. According to the woman, what can they do if they run out of time? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Hello, and welcome to the Hillside Ballroom Dancing Club's first class here at the David and Mary Thompson Collegiate High School Gymnasium. I've been informed that most of you have finished signing up for the ballet class. At this time, please proceed to the gymnasium. As you enter, you will be provided with your outfits and shoes at the door. Then make your way to the locker room located in the back of the gym to get changed. The first lesson is scheduled to begin in 15 minutes. Thank you. Number 71. Who is the intended audience of this announcement? Number 72. What will the listeners do right after they've signed up? Number 73. When will the class begin?
questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Thank you for calling Alto Lights, conveniently located at the intersection of Maple and Finch Street in Markham City. We are currently closed at this time, but we will reopen on Monday at 9 a.m. Please note that we have extended our store hours from 10 to 7 on weekdays to 9 to 8 and from 11 to 5 on Saturdays to 10 to 6 during the holiday season. So drop by and check out our wide selection of desk, floor and ceiling lamps that are priced to suit your needs. Number 74. On which day is the caller most likely getting this message? Number 75. What does the speaker remind the listeners of? Number 76. Which product would most likely be sold at the business? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Attention everyone, it is time to present this year's award for the most active member who has done the job of letting the world know about what we all love, flowers. Now, before I read out the name of today's winner, I'd like to mention that she has successfully been able to reach out to audiences beyond our imagination. Her work as a journalist provided channels to millions of people through her daily columns in the Tribune. She is also a leading member of the Flowers Association and goes around the country several times a year to give talks about flowers to the general public. Now, would everyone give a big hand of applause for Sarah Martin? Number 77. What is the main purpose of the talk? Number 78. What can be known about Sarah? Number 79. Who is Ms. Martin? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, ladies and gentlemen? The heavy rainstorm you're getting at the moment doesn't seem like it's going to let up any time soon. Therefore, this evening's baseball game between the Tigers and the Eagles is going to have to be postponed until further notice. All those in attendance today are asked to go to any of the ticket windows located at the stadium entrance to get a refund. If you wish to catch tomorrow's game between the Tigers and the Unicorns, you can get an exchange of tickets with this evening's tickets there as well. Thank you. Number 80. What caused the cancellation of the game? Number 81. When will tonight's game continue? Number 82. What should listeners who want to watch tomorrow's game do? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. The place I'm going to show you next is the one I mentioned over the phone this morning. It is a two-story house with four bedrooms and a large living room on the first floor. It also has a large yard in the back of the house with a patio and a beautifully maintained garden. The house is located in a suburban residential area with a nearby park park and schools. The subway station is located within walking distance and the commute to the city's downtown area only takes about 40 minutes. However, the best thing about this house is that the owner is in a hurry to sell it off. I assure you that you won't get a price like this for a house this good anywhere. Number 83. Who most likely is giving the talk? Number 84. 
Number 84. How did the listener first learn of this house? Number 85. According to the speaker, what is outstanding about the place? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following report. The economy of our nation is suffering, and the ones that are hit the hardest are the small retail store owners. The openings of large shopping centers and bulk superstores, plus the slowdown of our economy, are putting a big dent in that market. A local merchant who I spoke to earlier has commented that the daily sales in his store alone have dropped nearly 40%. And he feels his neighboring merchants are in a similar situation, if not worse. If the economy doesn't pick up soon, many of these retail shops will be forced to close their doors. This has been Joe Sachi with the Local Business Report. Now back to Jack at the news desk. Number 86. According to the report, who is suffering the most? Number 87. What will result if the situation doesn't change? Number 88. Who is Joe Sachi? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Would all musicians, actors, and singers line up at the table set up in the lobby at this time to sign up for the talent contest being held here in the Fox Theater? After you have finished registering, please make your way into the theater for your first tryout. The 20 chosen winners in today's tryout will be coming back here on December 1st for the second tryout, and the 10 who pass the second tryout will get a chance to compete for the big cash prizes. On December 15th. The final winners of the competition will be selected by a panel of judges who are in the entertainment business. All those who participate in the finals will receive other small gifts. Number 89. What will listeners do first? Number 90. How many tryouts does a participant have to go through to compete in the finals? Number 91. Who is going to pick the winners at the finals? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following voicemail message. Hello, this is Barry Owens, the head manager at Elite Boutique. I'm calling in regards to the order of the specially engraved box of hats and shirts I had placed with your company on September 16th. The delivery took two weeks longer than the date of my request, and I would like a full refund. However, a deal can be worked out if you are willing to give me a discount. As I explained earlier, the boxes of shirts and hats I ordered were for the annual corn festival held here in our town. The event is now over, and I can't sell the items at the regular price. However, the leftover items usually get sold at half the original price, and I would be willing to keep the order if you are willing to give me a deal on them. Would you please call me today to discuss this issue further? If I don't get a call from you, I will send them back the first thing tomorrow morning. Number 92. Why did the caller leave the message? Number 93. What is the problem? Number 94. According to the speaker, what usually happens to the leftover items?
Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following instruction. In order to renew your license, you have to pick up a form at the counter by the door and fill it out. Please do not leave any lines blank as this will slow down the process. If you wish to get help with the form, come back here and I will assist you. After you are done, line up behind windows 2 through 5 to have your photo taken and receive an eye test. Don't forget that there is a fee of $50 for renewing your license as well. Then, take a seat in the waiting area. When your new license is ready, your name will be called. You can pick it up at window 7. Do you understand the process now? Number 95. Where is this talk taking place? Number 96. According to the speaker, what will slow down the process? Number 97. Where should one go to pick up the license? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement. I'd like to explain our new company policy regarding the security of our offices. As you may have heard, we've had several break-ins this year, and last week our main vault was robbed. Luckily, there was not much cash in it, but we've decided that it is time to do something about it. Now, for this reason, we have decided to tighten up our security here by having two guards patrolling 24 hours a day. Also, all employees here will be assigned a new electronic card, and only with this card you will be given access to the office building. Please make sure to have it with you at all times. If for any reason you forget the card at home, you can get a temporary card from the security office on the first floor. However, do not make a habit of doing this. Also, if you lose your card, report it to the security office immediately. Number 98. What is the main purpose of this announcement? Number 99. How can staff members get access to the office building? Number 100. What must those who forget their cards at home do? This is the end of the listening test.